guys. I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw. Hey, hey, hey. I'm pulling, I'm pulling. Spread out, spread out. I got this one, dude. Watch out. We should go inside, we should go inside. Yeah, it's pretty kind of hot in here, and you guys are getting killed. You're too it's starting to rain. Let's go, guys. Damn, you guys are so bad. I know. This is sucks. Syria gas attacks. We're going to divide the segment. We're going to divide each of our segments into three segments: pros and cons, a little more information about Syria, and what would happen if we had another war. Wait, I'm getting breaking news. Hi. And this is Angela, and today we're going to be talking about the Syria gas attack on civilization. Syria's been up to many crazy things lately. Have you heard that he gassed over a thousand people just to show his power? Who, the president? Yeah. That's crazy. And you know Syria's not just affecting themselves, they're affecting other countries, such as America. America and Israel are both trembling in their own homes because they are terrified of bomb threats. And you know, Israel is right next to Syria, so that's even crazier. Everyone's terrified that they will start a World War III. And you know, America and other countries are starting protests. From coast to coast, all the people are going around because they don't want another world war to start. Let's bring it to Francesco and Anthony. Thank you, Tatiana and Angela. Now, it's Francesco and Anthony talking about the latest news from Syria and the pros and cons of chemical warfare. So, Anthony, what do you think about the latest news from Syria? Well, there's really nothing much to talk about, unless you think of a pro about Syria. Well, chemical warfare in general is a, is a great positive for the nation that uses it. Well, that's true, but do you think it's really necessary for them to use gas? It's like being drowned in water. Of course it's not necessary to use gas. But some, some leaders in the past, like Benito Mussolini and now the president of Syria, have used chemical warfare to wipe out many people, many of their own people, and, and many of the nation that they're fighting against. Well, that's true. And I guess another pro is that it's giving Obama another chance to prove himself as president. That's true. This is a, this is a great situation for Obama. Now let's send it over to George at the desk. Thank you, Anthony and Francesco. All right, if there was a war, kids would be terrified of being drafted. If there was another war, we would lose another generation of men. If there was a war, kids would fear for their life of losing their parents. If there was another war, kids like us would have to fear of being drafted to the war. If there was another war, the U.S. government would have to worry about spending another whole bunch of money on silly stuff. If there was another war, our economy would break down. If there was another war, we would use all our money on weapons and nuclear stuff that we just wouldn't have any more money. Um, if there was another war... Hi, 
Hi, I'm Tatiana, and today I'm going to be interviewing random citizens. Here's one over here. Let's go check her out. My God, what's going on? Can I interview you really, you really fast? Sure. What's your name? Hi, Ella. And how old are you? Eight. And do you know anything about the Syria gas attack? The Syria what now? Okay, well, the Syria gas attack, the president was just wanting all the power, so he gassed his country. Why would he do that? How do you feel about that? Why would he do that? That's, like, really mean. What his parents teach him? I don't know, but that's all we have for today. What the? And now we will interview another U.S. citizen. Excuse me. Yep. What's your name? Gabriel. And what is your opinion on Syria? Um, I think it's a terrible thing that is happening. Um, actually, I just read in the Huffington Post about how um, Barack Obama is trying to implement soldiers um, in Syria to try to put a stop against what's going on and I guess to just put more of a safety on many other citizens because um, what had happened, um, a lot of the casualties are mostly children and uh, ranging from children to um, adults and the elderly. And it's just a terrible thing that had happened. And honestly, in my opinion, I think we should send soldiers out there um, to keep an eye out on what's going on because um, it's just a terrible thing that had happened. And the more we wait, the more citizens are going to die. So, okay, thank you. I think Syria's gas attack was a complete waste of weapons. There was no need to go and attack all of your civilians for no reason. And I also think that it was a disgrace that the U.S. got involved. They should have stayed out of it, and now we could possibly go into war. I think the gas tax in Syria are just horrible. And what the president of Syria is doing to just show his power is just cruel. And it's just a disgrace to humanity. I think Syria is bad. spent a lot of money in the nuclear bombs and the president has gassed a lot of people for no good reason. Serious gas attacks on its own nation are disgraceful. For them just to show power by attacking their own own people is ridiculous. Gas warfare in general is is a horrible topic to discuss. It's killed many people and is a horrible way to die. My opinion on the Syria gas attack is that it's very bad and I can't believe the dictator gassed his country. Um, I can't believe that uh, that the president of Syria would do such a thing to his own people, like just to add to his own people, just to show off power, and just to show his great nation. My opinion on Syria is that the the way the president, the way the dictator ran stuff was devastating to our whole world. Thank yeah. you, and have a nice day. What he said.
so what do you think about the series this year? Well, the series is exactly that. I'm actually thinking about Sam Gunn. Who is that? Oh, hey, Peter. Oh, that was good. And what do you think? Oh, I think it's a terrible thing that is happening. I just wanted you to let me in. Barack Obama is trying to And instead of using force. And I guess I should have let you in. What are you doing? Hi, I'm Tatiana, and this is Angela. And today we're going to be talking about you. Don't you ever say I just walked away, I will always want you.